plane headed in and all the talk about the rebounded and the turnovers and then the Kevin news. How satisfying is a win like this? Well, it certainly feels great, obviously. Uh, you know, but win or lose, just the, the effort, the connectivity, you know, the things that we try to build on every day, you know, that, that collective fighting spirit, you know, you could see it. It was uh, a pleasure to watch and, and to coach and uh, proud of the guys. You know, we've had a little bit of a, you know, a, a, a tough run and a, and a little bit of a cloud forming over us. And guys put it aside tonight and played really hard, played together, and, uh, and it was a great performance. Can you take us through what went into the decision to shake up the starting lineup this evening? Mm-hmm. You know, it's uh, just being clairvoyant and... Uh, no, no, we just, uh, I mean, you know, you know, we, we don't have much practice time. We are a new group. We have Kevin out with COVID protocols. We were struggling and, and, uh, I think we're going to continue to experiment. You know, we have to find out who we are, what we are and where we need to improve. And sometimes, you know, just giving guys different opportunities at different times, you know, can mix things up and we'll see different lineups, you know, so, um, you know, really proud of everyone for accepting that change and that dynamic and, and coming together and just playing their butts off for one another. Greg Logan, Newsday. Uh, Steve, can you in particular uh, address the impact that Jared Allen made at both ends of the court tonight? Uh, it, was, it was pretty good. Um, you know, I, I mean, he, uh, he, he did it all. I mean, he, he he rebounded. He protected the basket. We put he got a lot of had a lot of pressure on him protecting the basket. Um, he, he blocked shots. He got steals, and you know he's just so impactful. Incredible energy, effective. Scored in traffic. Scored through contact. Um, just did did it all. So you know, really really proud of him. And uh, we've seen him continue to develop. And tonight, you know, was a phenomenal game against a top top quality team and a top quality center. Brian Lewis, New York Post. I apologize if you were asked this at the start, um, but I mean, could you just discuss what Bruce... Gave you defensively. I mean, I know obviously perimeter defense has been an issue. What did you provide? Yeah, I thought he did great. He played with energy and, and toughness. Um, you know, I, I thought it was the hustle plays. Just, you know, he, he, he got some rebounds. He got some assists, um, you know, and, and was just engaged and so I just thought it was great for him coming off of no minutes to be able to play with that type of engagement and concentration was a a tribute to him and uh, his character. Christian Winfield, New York Daily News. Hey coach, piggybacking off of that question, um, you know obviously part of missing Spencer is his ability to handle the ball and kind of just like orchestrating the offense. We saw a little bit of a little bit out of that from Bruce today. Uh, would you say that is important in just having another guy who can handle the ball out there alongside Kyrie? And what did you think of just him and Kyrie playing out there together today? Like they were kind of just like in sync out there on the floor. Yeah, it was it was good. I, like I said, I thought he was engaged and, and played hard and, and did a little bit of everything. And you know I, that more than anything is brings value. Um, you know, uh, you know, without Kevin out there, it's it's nice to have more guys who can handle the ball. Um, and uh, I, I just thought he was tough and competed and and knew knew the game plan and and all those little things that count for winning basketball. Alex Schiffer, the Athletic. Hey Steve, after the last game, you said how the you know three of your biggest issues was the defensive miscues, the turnovers, and the rebounding, and and all three were. were you know, went pretty well for you guys tonight. I guess what what was the biggest difference in from last game with those three areas? You know, I, I, like I said last game, I, I think we're going to turn the ball over some. But la- last game it was it was uncharacteristic. We were turning the ball over without any pressure. Um, we were just making poor decisions. I thought I felt like there was just such a 
um, we were holding it so tight and then, you know, just making uncharacteristic decisions. Uh, tonight we cleaned that up, which I thought was more normal for us. Uh, you know, I, I thought the rebounding, especially in the first half, was, well, I guess it was pretty even. I mean, they, I think they had four offensive rebounds in both halves. Um, you know, so gang rebounding, the diligence to get in in, in numbers, you know, is something that has to become a habit for our team. Um, you know, Jeff. I think playing at the four a little bit maybe helped the rebounding as, as well to give us some some size. So, you know, just much improved. Um, but like win or lose, for them to play with that connectivity and that fighting spirit, you know, it's a pleasure to coach. And I was just really proud of them for their attitude and the way they approach the game under, you know, you know, missing Kevin and coming off a, a rough stint where, you know, I felt like maybe we were questioning ourselves a little bit early in the season and feeling pressure unnecessarily. And uh, tonight they came out and handled it incredibly well. Lake Andrews, ESPN. Steve, there, there are nights where the defensive end impacts the offense, where the offensive end impacts the defense. You guys have been trying to work on making it so your defensive end is feeding your offensive end. Where did you think you fell on that sliding scale tonight? Well, I mean, I think we were both good on both sides of the ball. I think, uh, you know, our defense, you know, created some opportunities for sure. You know, they, we had 27 points off turnovers, so that that's huge. Um, you know, again, it, 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 when we play together like that and we fight, you know, you, you have a chance every single night. And tonight we happen to make shots and, and make plays and not turn the ball over to go along with it. So it was a resounding win. But, you know, even when you don't have your, your best stuff, if you fight and you play together and we can limit the offensive rebounds, we give ourselves a chance to win. So, you know, I thought the defense helped the offense tonight. Uh, and, and frankly, the offense helps the defense too because when you make shots and you make plays, I think it gives you a little more juice that going the other way as well. We'll go back to Michael Grady. Uh, Coach was curious. Uh, you're starting five. Have they seen any time together as a group in a scrimmage and practice going back to uh, training camp? Not that I can remember. Uh, as a matter of fact, I would say that's a hard no. Um, so we just mixed it up. We, you know, we got. A, I think we got a shot in the arm out of it, and you know, guys responded to it. Not only the guys who started, but the guys who were moved to the bench were outstanding as well. You know, didn't flinch and, and accepted their role and, and that's the type of you know, teamwork and attitude that I think is so important if you want to win games. Greg Logan, Newsday. Uh, following up on exactly that, I was going to ask you, does this do something for the bench? Uh, because they, you had 66 bench points tonight and you put scores down there like Harris and uh, and also uh, did, did Karras need a game like this? Yeah, I think it was great for Karras. You know, I mean, obviously he 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 got on a roll offensively, but I was I was more impressed and proud of him making plays for his teammates. Um, you know, he made some great little passes and reads and, you know, that's so important for him. You know, he's you know, he's handling the ball a lot in the second unit and a lot of responsibility. Um, and I, I love it when he fi finds that balance between scoring um, and setting up his teammates. I think that puts the defense in a much more difficult position to cover him, um, you know, when he's able to make some plays for his teammates. So I, I thought he was exceptional and I was really proud of the way he distributed the ball as well as scored. Last question, Christian Winfield. Coach, piggybacking off of that question, um, you know, Kara starts tonight 0-5. 
Uh, and he had a couple tough shooting games before and the, before this one. Did you say anything to him maybe at halftime, or did you notice anything switch for him before he comes out and makes his next eight or makes eight of his next nine shots? You know, I didn't, and I wasn't worried about the shooting because he was making plays for his teammates. He was trying to set them up. He was still being, you know, aggressive and handling the ball and, and putting the defense in difficult positions. So some nights the ball goes in, some nights it doesn't. But when you balance it by making the defense make tough decisions, you know, you're a threat, you're a danger, and you make your teammates better. So you offset that. Now he got on a roll offensively as well and started scoring, but it was the playmaking, the, the ability to read the defense and make it difficult for them uh, I thought was, was outstanding. And that, that's what made me happy more than him kind of getting out of a mini shooting slump. Thanks for your time, Coach. Okay, thanks, everybody. Good night.